I'm back and uh, it's good to be back because you know there was there was a moment there where I thought maybe maybe I won't be back uh, it got kind of scary and you know that's what happens when you find yourself in just a lot of pain yeah and, and you don't know why I realized that going to a chiropractor and getting x-rayed and finding out what is exactly wrong with your body is a really good idea and it's just something I didn't bother doing because you know I've had these back spasms before and um, they take me out for a couple of days and then uh, I'm right as rain. The only difference is this time I'm not 100% yet. Even after of, of like like resting and really just trying to get myself a break. It's just some days uh, it's, it's more than I can take with ibuprofen and a heating pad. Resting as much as I can but going to a job where I'm standing for six hours a day and then pushing heavy things around and things like that. It's uh, you, you just kind of you do what you gotta do. Some days I'm, I'm, I feel great, like today I feel really good, and other days I just feel really bad. It just comes with the nature, I guess, of, of getting older, and yet the irony is I see guys who are much, much older than I who are just killing it, and they don't, they don't seem to have, or they don't talk about the problems that they have. It's just one of those things where you just kind of deal with it as it comes, and uh, when, you when you get that bridge and you have to cross it, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's, it's rough. I mean, even, even now I'm finding myself sitting here like, why am I out here? Why am I doing this? Part of the reason is because I like making videos and I like making content. I like taking people along with me on my journey. And the other part is because I don't want to lose this. Every minute that you spend sitting on the couch, not doing what you love or not doing what you want to do is another minute spent just letting that slip away from you until it's, it's gone and you'll never get it back. Or it'll be a very rough uphill climb to get it back. And, and that's kind of the physical reason, aside from pleasing the algorithm and making sure that I have a video showing so that people remember me and will watch them when I post them. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. That last short got way more views than I had anticipated, way more likes than I could have hoped for. So that was huge. Telling me, do this, come back, do it again. Do If you love it and, and enjoy it, then don't just give it up. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm back. But the, the, the metaphysical reason, the, the more beyond reason is there's this video of this, uh, he's like in his 70s and he's just, just cruising along on a boardwalk and just totally vibing. Just the view that he has next to the ocean and, and the people who are like, you know, give him thumbs up and like, you know, keep at it, bro, keep doing it. You know, that, that kind of inspired me. I want that to be me someday. The idea that I can keep skating and that I can keep up with at least that level of skating and just enjoying the moment and going with the flow. I don't want to lose that which is why I'm here, even though like I'm not 100%. Too much. And even though like I just tweaked my back and I, and you'll see like I'm pretty stiff in these videos because I'm, I've got a lot of, I'm very nervous and, and anxious about the idea of taking a slam and just hurting myself to the point where I can't even walk again. I, you know, I can't really afford that and I don't want to risk that. But at the same time, you, it comes with the territory. You have to be confident and you have to be aggressive, not so much aggressive, but assertive in the way that you skate or you will absolutely suffer. They don't tell you this, but that maple wood smells fear <laughs> and, and it will absolutely jump up on you and bite you on the ass if you do not take control and stay on top of it. And a lot of that is just like the, the skater's ethos or like the, the work ethic of skating where you you fall, you take a slam, but you get up and you try again and you just keep going and keep going until you've mastered that trick or until you've mastered the spot or whatever whatever you want to call it for, for landing a trick or just doing it right. It's, it's that kind of mentality that you have to have to keep going and keep trying again and again. Even though you're hurt, even though, you know, every fiber of your being is saying you need to stop and slow down and, and chill out for a bit, but you just keep going because you know you're going to get it. You know you're going to land it. Just one more try, one more try. So that's the mentality that, you know, we all have in a little way. So that's really all I wanted to do today was just give you an update and show you how I'm progressing and, and starting to like loosen up and get back into the groove and trying to just conquer that fear and get just, I just want to get back to the level where I was just a few months ago. It's the saddest thing is that, that this, this happened to me out of nowhere. My sciatic or a slip disc or something, I don't know. I just woke up one morning and I was in pain and it just kept escalating until I found myself really suffering. 
and now I'm starting to bring it back, but I'm worried that I'm never gonna get beyond like that certain level. Like I'm at 98% and I'm just, maybe that's gonna be the new normal. Maybe that's gonna be where my, you know, level cap is, is I'm just gonna constantly have this subtle background radiation of pain that I just get used to or overcome. <laughs> who knows who knows what the future holds for now i'm going to finish this out and uh definitely thank you for joining me today take it easy It has been a great day to skate, even though it's still like only in the 40s. And I mean, it's just, this is the first day that we've had where it isn't raining, it isn't cold, it isn't snowing. I mean, dig it. These are the days, man. This is, this is what you live for.